So hi, I'm Charlotte Frasse, a third year PhD student in computational neuroscience. And this year I'm gonna attend a few scientific conferences, which wasn't really possible last year due to Corona. So I'm really excited and also nervous. And although I've already attended one conference during the summer, I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of give you some tips and tricks of how I prepared for these kind of conferences, what you can expect, and also what you can do to really prepare yourself as optimally as possible. So I know if this is your first time attending a scientific conference, it can be quite daunting because all the big names in the field will be present. But one thing I already want to say to you is that it is really a learning opportunity. I think the amount of people I've seen and the talks I've heard that were really inspiring was really surprising to me because of course you can listen to talks online. But I think the ability to ask questions in real life and have some discussions with people People that really inspire you. It's just a really novel and exciting experience. But I want to give you four tips on how to prepare for these kind of events such that you have the best mindset and the best toolkit to get the most out of this event as possible. So the first thing that you want to do is to research the conference in as much detail as possible. So look into the conference schedule, the keynote speakers and other attendees. This will give you an idea of what to expect and allow you to plan your schedule accordingly. So for example, it could be that there is usually double presentations at the same time and maybe there is a particular speaker that you want to listen but another speaker that you like a lot as well at the same time. So you kind of have to make a decision which presentation you will attend. And also something that I would really recommend is if there is poster session to look at the type of posters that are being presented. I've noticed that the amount of information that I get from posters and having discussions with the people that created the posters is actually a little bit more than what I usually get at the big lectures. So I think a lot of people are focused on these keynote speakers and these really famous people, but it's usually the people working under them that actually know a lot more about the specific topic or the details in the topic that the big keynote speakers are working on. And these people are always at the poster sessions, so they are presenting their specific work on a poster. So if you have the ability to see the posters beforehand, I would definitely take a look at all of them and kind of mark down the poster numbers that you would like to visit during the event. So the second tip that I would definitely give is if you have the ability to present anything to really take this ability. So if you're a novel researcher in a certain field, the chances of people knowing your name are none too slim. And something that I didn't really realize when I attended my first conference is that people really like going to the posters and talking to new researchers. But if you don't have your work on a poster or you're not giving a small talk, you're kind of taking away the possibility of other people to get to know you and to get to know your work. So I actually really enjoyed presenting my poster and having pretty in-depth discussions with some other PhD students, postdocs, or even professors about my work. And usually people that attend your poster are also really interested in the topic or working on the topic themselves. So the third tip that I have is about networking. So I personally really hate the word networking as it feels to me a really contrived type of thinking where you really single out certain people as being important enough for you to network with. But I had to change my mindset about this a little bit because I do think if you look up beforehand which topics you're interested in and which people you want to meet and you just go from a heart of honest curiosity, I think it's fine to approach people people a little bit that are working in the same topic as you. And also something that I want to emphasize in this part is not to only go towards the keynote speakers or the most important or famous professors, because actually in 10 years, when you're gonna be at that position, maybe these are not gonna be your colleagues. Your colleagues are actually gonna be the PhD students that are working under them. So something that I would do actually is to also really meet the PhD students of these famous professors. Because a lot of times what I have noticed is that some of these really famous lecturers are actually not as nice as they seem. And PhD students are actually way more open about their research they are doing and also usually a lot more humble. So some professors, of course, are super nice and attentive, but the chances of you having a successful collaboration opportunity or getting a really interesting connection, in my opinion, usually lies a little bit more with the PhD students and the postdocs and the 
last tip that I have for you is to practice your pitch. So a lot of people will ask you at the conference, what are you working on? And usually you have about one minute to tell them what you're working on. So I would prepare a little bit different pitches of your research. So of course, some of us have really clear research goals, like I want to solve depression in 2023. But some of us have actually really difficult topics that are quite hard to explain in one minute. But it is really a skill and something you need to develop to be able to explain this in one minute on different levels. Such that when someone that you're really interested in is asking you what are you actually working on, that you have a good clear answer. So yeah, these were just some tips on how I would prepare for a large conference. If you are attending a conference this summer or this year, I would love to know. So please put it down in the comments below where you're going and who you're meeting over there. And otherwise, see you next week. Bye.